YouTube, you got to see me walk behind the table. Uh, this will be the start of the show. We're going to start filming for the show in uh, just a few seconds. I actually have to grab my phone. You guys are going to see me move again. So I can time this. Uh, I have a 15 minute open for the garage con. So got to put the timer on. And you guys just get to see this because it is what it is. All right. Stop, uh, stopwatch ready to go. Let me put it in a place where it won't look awkward me looking at it. There, I can hide it behind here. All right. Here we go. Hello and welcome to GarageCon. Like many of you, I have had events canceled and I am now in my garage of all places, set up and talking to you. A lot of things in the next few weeks, we will feel that they were taken from us. Understand that these are precautions done to save lives. There is nothing wrong with trying to save a life. No matter what we miss, we can do it later. We can reschedule it. We can get it to be another time of the year. But right now, please take heed and concern in the fact that everyone is trying to protect people. So do your part, but be uplifting to everyone. Try to support everyone. We're going to be doing this garage con and then we got some other online cons that we're calling on cons coming up over the next couple weeks we invite everyone to be part of this we're going to be doing panels we're going to be doing pitches we're going to be doing everything you want something on these programs you let me know and we'll do our best to get them done we'll video conference we'll do everything we can we have to get past this moment we have to rise up together and i promise you this too shall pass we are going to survive. This is the human race. This is a scary moment that will pass. And in the meantime, we're going to have to get creative. We're going to have to have these moments where we're going to have to do something different that we've never done before. We've always said that IndieAdvocates.com was the global digital comic con, but now we're testing that resolve. We're testing to see if it can go further. So here we are in my garage doing garage con. So now here's the thing. I'm introing the show. I'm welcoming you all in. So I'm going to pretend you just hit me at the uh, at the thing. You hear background noise. That's good. It doesn't sound quiet. I watched SmackDown last night. It was very quiet. It was weird. So the background noise is normal for a con. So that's awesome. So I'm going to pretend you walk up to my table. All right. So you guys just walk up or pretend to walk up and I'll pretend you walked up. All right. Here we go. Hey, how you doing? My name is Rob Anderson. I am the Indie Devil. I make books about fetish, monsters, and more. What topic interests you? Oh, you want to know about the more? Well, the more is advocating comics, where I take a farting elephant and make them able to teach moral lessons in Cat Dad and Super Mom. It's an all reader's tale, meaning that you and your family can get together and read this and really enjoy it. Now they're letting trucks into cons. So this is a great tale for you to sit down and enjoy it with your family. It's made like Looney Tunes in the way that everyone is meant to enjoy it. We also got to redo Jack's story and make it more contemporary, more fitting to the old reader's tale. And that's in this amazing flip book. You wanna know what else we have for more? Well, we have the Avocator which is the poo-poo platter of indie comics, which brings together all different creators from all different areas in the world. So when I'm at a con, like Garage Con, you don't see anyone else around here, but I have Brian K. Morris with me. I have Frank Martin with me. I have Travis Gibb with me. I have Chuck Pinot with me, or I think I'm saying that right. I always get that wrong. Sorry, Chuck. Uh, I have The Fourth Monkey, which is also another anthology series, which again, brings different creators to my table that you not necessarily you wouldn't necessarily see. The cool thing about this one is that it actually gives to charity at the Ronald McDonald House, which I thought was pretty cool. We also have amazing covers from Martha Schwartz, all covers through the Advocator. And the Advocator, like I said, it's a poo-poo platter. So it gives you little 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 peeks into the world. Four pages most of the time will show you what that creator can do and show you what the creator is up to. And if you like what you see, you can find more because all these creators have bigger libraries. 
Also part of the Moor, since you asked, my one of my original releases, I have the New York Reporter. I'm going to be making this into something brand new this year. I'm going to call it probably the uh, the Indie Devil Tales, maybe uh, Devilish Tales. And I'm going to collect all my original works, including this, which this is actually an interesting comic book such actually a newspaper comic book it's all about newspaper and the articles and the covers i'll be honest i can't draw so this was my way to show people how serious i was about comic books so what else do we got for you guys in the more section we're not done just yet because also part of the more is the fact that we run indieadvocates.com which you see right there IndieAdvocates.com is the global digital comic con. It is what we can do to bring creators a, well, sometimes it's just a platform for them to actually express who they are. But for you guys, it's always an online digital comic con, which is awesome because if anything happens, you can find a place for indie comics. We also just recently started underground comics website called, and it's so new that I'm still trying to remember its name. Here we go. It's Underground Comic Advocates. And it's an amazing site. I definitely think you should check it out. Before you go, grab a business card and I'll hand you a flyer. And uh, you'll be able to check out some of the things I got going on. Oh, you want to hear about the monsters? Well, the monsters are the classic tale of the Universal Monsters. Except there's one thing. They're not monsters. They're human beings with genetic disorders. And it's Hollywood. Who are the real monsters for making them monsters in the first place? How cool is that? And I'll be honest, I was actually thinking about Fifty Shades of Grey when I was writing that. What the Fifty Shades of Grey did to the fetish community. So, it's kind of interesting. So, And of course we had the sequel, which was Monster of a Betrayal. And that kind of goes deeper into something about what happens when you rock the boat. But importantly, we actually had Manny, the wolf, show up, and he became a very interesting character and was part of the crossover with the Avocator, which also had my character from the fetish book, Barbara, from Barbara and Lee show up. And in the Avocator, there wasn't much of a, a kink, kinky situation or anything fetish going on. But it was my way of explaining to people what the Avocator could be, and it was also a tongue-in-cheek way to bring characters that would never cross over to cross over. You guys can see, I'm wearing a, a modified shirt. The reason for this is it's hot in the garage. <laughs> you guys see me sweating, you know that. Florida summer's already hit. One of the things that I also want to mention about the Avocator is that we've had three seasons, because in Florida, like I'm saying about the shirt, there isn't four seasons. We have summer most of the year, we have fall for a couple weeks, we have winter for a few days, and then we go back to summer. We don't have spring. So, with the Avocator, we did winter, we did summer, and we did fall. Now, what else do I have for you guys that I can interest you in? Would you guys like to hear about the fetish book? I know it's not for everyone, but since you're here, you might as well hear about it, right? Oh, you are interested in hearing about it? Cool, let me tell you. This journey all started back in the day when we started with one book called Fetish Babies. Didn't go well online. People didn't like the name after a while. So we had to change it. The story hasn't changed, but we changed it and rebranded it last year into Barbara Unleashed, which you can see right here. What it really is, and people get this wrong all the time, it's not porn, it's not over-sexual, it's about a community that doesn't get representation. And we've heard about communities not getting representation, but for some reason with the fetish community, they really don't get it. See, here's the easy way for me to explain it to you if you're not into fetish. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey, if an adult wrote it that knew what they were talking about. I know, you're interested already because you know it's not crap like that other stuff. So here's, here's the deal. If you're not into fetish, but you're open-minded, it's a great compelling tale. If you're someone who's kind of on the fence and doesn't know if they have a fetish or are interested in it, this is a book that can kind of guide you through. And if you're into fetish, this is a love letter to the fetish community. And finally explaining that we are not the fetishes, but we are in fact human beings whose sexuality is possibly different than everyone else's. And one of the differences that we have right now is actually this amazing book, the BDSM Survey, which is on Kickstarter until St. Patrick's Day. 
And the BDSM survey gives you the opportunity to actually sit down with someone you care about, a playmate, and actually go over the things that you are into. And you can share with each other who you are in a very intimate way. But it's not like when you're trying to have a regular conversation about people get intimidated. They just don't want to blurt things there out. They're hoping that they can hint. This takes all that hinting away. This gives everyone just the ability to talk to each other and to have honest conversations. I'm really excited about this because it also goes over some important safety issues. Now, we have a lot of stuff for you guys. As you can see, we've got the Advocator, all three issues. We have some alt covers for Barbara Unleashed. And yes, I was wrong about alt covers because my fans want alt covers. And all my alt covers outside of the Advocator are reasonably priced on purpose. They are limited, most of them, to 1,000, except our original release was limited just to 100, which is why we have a flip book for Barbara Unleashed, which you can see right here. And apparently at this con, there's a drill, and he's just a noisy neighbor. See, sometimes at a show you get these noisy neighbors. You just gotta deal with it. But thank you for coming by. Make sure you check out all my books. I'm really excited to be able to share this journey with you. If you have any other questions, you can find me at MrAnderson.com. So that's basically how I pitch. Obviously, I don't get a lot of feedback. Noises are normal. That's going to happen. Sometimes you just have a barking neighbor. Sometimes you got cosplayers blasting music. It's nothing abnormal. A um, few pointers I want to give. I think I've got a couple more minutes to be hanging out with you guys before we start. This is my intro part of the show. I do want to stress to you guys, please check out the fact that I am more than an advocate. I am an indie advocate very proudly. I've been known as an indie devil and now I am the underground devil. The reason I'm the underground devil is because when it comes to books like Barbara Unleashed, there's just little respect for this. Another creator can make a book where they tie people up and torture them and it's a big hit and everyone celebrates it because, I don't know, they think it's okay to use something and kind of mock it or use it just to sell things. When you try to do something in a serious fashion, it turns out people get mad at you. How dare I talk about fetish? How dare I be that person? I am gonna dare to be that person. And I'm gonna to continue to be that person. And I hope you guys give me the opportunity to let you into what a community it is, what fetish really is. And all my stories, if you notice, they kind of have a a, a string to it. Even my fourth monkey uh, appearance, and mind you, I didn't make this book, I'm just part of it, but I'm still glad to be part of this amazing book. I talk about bullying. Bullying is a very important thing to me because not only did I get bullied, but I think it's one of the hardest things. And right now, as we're dealing with this awkward time, we need to really stand up and be with each other. This show is not just about me. We're going to have some amazing creators joining me today. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. I set up in the garage because I wanted to show you that we don't have to stop. We don't have to keep being, we don't have to stop being who we are. We can keep being who we are. This will pass. I promise everyone. I thank you for tuning in and I thank you for just watching about my stuff, which I don't talk about a lot. And I could go on longer, but I only gave myself 15 minutes. I don't want to hog the beginning of the show. So I really... I really do hope that you guys support each other over the next couple weeks. We will be doing that. Indie Advocates is going to be extending itself. We're going to be partnering with other sites. We'll partner with anyone that can get us to the point where we're having conversations about moving forward and moving past this and getting back to normal as quick as we can, when we can. But until then, we have to find different ways of approaches. If you guys want anything that you saw today or have any questions, you can message me. I can We can go through PayPal. You can back my Kickstarter. Communicate. If you see something that a creator over the next couple weeks is doing, is, is part of, and has released the book, message them. Please, please message them and ask them how you can support them. Ask them how you can buy their book, even though they are quarantined or they are stuck, unable to go to a show. A lot of shows have been canceling. Let's, let's continue to support each other. Let's get past this bad moment in time together. Let's rise up. Because I want to get back on the road and give some free hugs and spits. So I appreciate you all hanging out with me in my garage. We're probably, I'll probably leave some of this set up for you. Because uh, I think I'm going to try to do a couple panels. We'll, we'll get rid of the, uh, the uh, comics and we'll just do some panels. I appreciate you, honestly. 
reaching out to each other. I've seen some support going, just calm everyone down. Let's all get through this together, honestly. And if you see someone else doing online comic cons, support them. I'm calling them on cons. I think it's a cool name. Support anything that's an on con. Support anyone making a measure forward. But that's it. That's my time. Thank you for listening to me and hearing about my comics because this, believe it or not, is a dream come true for me. Being able to even talk to you about comic books, being able to just show you what I can do with a pen and paper when I can write my words down. So remember, all my words inspired all this art. I've worked with some amazing artists and I'm welcoming you to be part of my experience by picking up a copy of something I created today. And now for the rest of the show. Over to you, Rob. And of course, at this point, I would cut the video and I'd break in and we'd and, uh, probably go on to our next video package or whatever have you. But for now, YouTube, I'm out. I want to go wipe off some sweat, maybe take a shower.